All right, so let's talk about two ways of moving. We talked about the first two when I post, and now we're talking about the last four. And I gotta remember what I post. Anyway, uh, the drop step. The drop step, yeah, you gotta weight on your front leg. So what you kinda wanna do is you throw a punch, drop step after the weight. You're not pulling, we're not doing anything with the feet, you're just kinda doing a drop step. Yeah, and that's how it would be. If all of a sudden stuff started getting hairy, you kind of going drop step this way or drop step this way. Okay, works well with weapons between A and B. This is here, and I'm loading up this way and drop step. It's not a pull, it's a drop step. The drop step is how you walk. Okay, and that's about it. The last one, who I call the misplaced, takes some time getting it down, but I have my weight on the leg, and the way I use it is getting from point A, to point A to point B. I'm trying to get here to there real fast. So it's this falling motion because I put my weight on the leg already, and I'm just doing this. And your body automatically starts falling. It's already going. The gravity has taken control. I'll second whatever you want. Again, if I'm trying, he stays there. Now I need to get there. It's, all, it's already okay. Come on. It's already here. I'm already covering this distance. Okay. If again, if I hang out on this side and I'm trying to get over there to bust that tricep up and do whatever, it's just that way. In the key home. I'll do that. Okay. Again, the gospel's here, fade out. This movement. I'm trying to get from point A to point B. I'm not trying to do this. So I'm lifting my head when you push. Try to get this weight on this leg without doing this. So you do this. Move them out this way. Let's the other punch. Can't hit me. That's a good thing. Because I can slip, uh, let's leave it out there. I can slip right over here. Control the ability is what you're looking at. Uh, that's the last two. Let's talk about dead man's zone. So you give me a pump. Dead man's zone is this. If I can still be hit with this, boom. It didn't change his perception, you're in a dead man's spot. Kick is coming. Boom, all day. Boom, powerful kicks. You got to follow. If you try a so called angle, you get over here. Bam, you got a problem. It's all day. What you're trying to get is doing this. See, now he has to reach. See, you have to, he has to reach. That's what you're looking for. So he's to cut, take a punch. It's the same thing. Move up to this angle. You still can't get to it. Good command, good angle. That's what you want. Again, recap. Coming from the back to the forward. Dead man zone. Give me a punch. Dead man zone. Boom. Now you be angled off. Now I mean you can do things right here. So we talking about the basic. Bam. Kick. Bam. All day. What you want is this. Good command. Good here. Blading off flat. This is 90, this is Mo Jordan weight, this is here. I'm taking control of the situation, his body here. You see when he punch, he has weight in his punches. So if my Kamai is bad, then I do this, boom, breaking my structure. So you gotta get a point when you're doing this. You're just doing this. You can't do it because it's structure. Skeleton bone structure. Boom. We should go right, bam. Bust that dude up. Okay? Four ways of moving. Drop step. Just try to get out the way. Just try to get out the way. Weight's already leg, you're doing a drop step. Uh, misplaced. Try and cover some distance. Try and cover some distance. This is how I'm doing. Okay? 
using the key home all day. Pull. Pull scenario can happen this way. Jumanji, pull. Pull with your hamstrings. Bam. Jumanji. If you're going to do Jumanji, make sure you get this up. You don't move. You're moving back with your feet. When this stays here, bam, Jumanji. The hip section. This is the hip using this motion. You got to be flat using this here. Again, you're doing this. So there's lots of four ways of moving. Moving. Try to get your try to weight from point A to point B. Point A to point B. Without doing this. Uh, that's about it. Um, make sure again, if this is a punch, you cut good angles. Good angles. Why? Because now I can understand if he kicks or not. Okay, this distance here. So if he kicks. Change shape, break that, whatever you want to do. Come real close. This is the angle. Got his balance broke. I'm trying to punch again. Try. What is this? Then you got earth. Deep his mind. Talked about that last time. So Y'all know Travis. Travis is my favorite student. I love him to death. Training UBC Tossin. Fights people every day for food and everything. When he punches, he has weight in his punches. He does enough punch, though. He's not giving me a lazy punch. So if I train with his punch, and I start doing my command lazy, thinking like I'm doing real good a job, and when a real punch comes, I'm going to do this. have a problem. You have to understand movement to the point, I'm sorry, he's, he's on this, he's on my structure. Now watch his body when I straighten this up, this is a nagas, so I do this. Something's wrong with his body, getting pushed this way to the ankle. moving through your legs to affect your spine. So please understand that here. Four ways of moving. Understand distance. Boom. Boom. Understand the kicks. Boom. Boom. Okay. Understand grapple position. Boom. Boom. Yes, I'm moving at an angle. No, I'm not doing this. Why I'm not doing this? This way, so that's what he used to. That's what he wants. You have to take advantage of these angles. Take advantage of your body. Move at the angles. Throws. He's already off balance because I put him on the shelf. He's already going to dip down. He's already going off balance. So these type of situations, you have to understand this is from point A to point B. The grapple positions are close, understand this distance. These kicking distances, you gotta understand them. For a lot of time, a lot of years, when this kick came down, he left, we did nothing but these type of kicks. We just stood them. Why is that? Because we learn what? This. This is the correct distance for this kick. This is the correct distance for that. If I try to learn distance for a kick and I go, you're not doing too good a job because he's going to move in. So you have to understand well, because he's trying to move in. Yeah, I'm kicking with my butt. I don't know if he's spinning to change his shape. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. That's exactly what I'm doing. 
to all go. And also, I'm keeping my guard when I move. Keeping my guard. I'm not doing this. Why? Because the fight is still on, so I'm shooting you this. Boom! Okay. You have to do this. Got them stretched out. This is covered. Why stretch them out? Because of uh, what is that? That's why I stretch them out. This knee, you don't understand it, it's covering this knee. When you try to kick me here, you're not getting nowhere. That is a definition of uh, Tatsubaki. That's another definition of mine. You can cover it at all times. And I'm controlling this body. I don't need to make it fall. I need to make it feel something's really wrong with me. That's all it is. If you want to practice slipping punches, the first thing I would suggest is to understand the distance. So get to somebody and do this. Get to somebody who keep you real light. Get to somebody like uh, my guard down. Yes, bam. My guard down, bam. Then you kind of go, I need to raise this up. Hit him with the knee. That's what we do. Get him shoved over. So that's about it. So we did the four ways of moving. We talked about distance. And we talked about being involved in a semi-realistic situation. So y'all have a good night.